Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Primetime, and you already know, you're on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video, and you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. Oh, man, let's go ahead and jump on into this thing, shall we? How about your boy, Tiafimo Lopez? He said the haters can keep hating. What? I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm scratching my head on it a little bit because isn't it the same guy that said, you know, he's on top of the world, can't be beat, yada, yada, yada. Now he lost the belts to George Cambosis, and he ain't been calling out George Cambosis. I ain't heard him. You know, it's crazy, you know, but Tiafima Lopez, you know, to me, he sound like he haunted by that loss, <laughs> for real, you know, instead of moving on from what happened to him, you know, you know, he was a former IBF, WBA, WBC, and franchise <laughs> WBC champion at that, not the real WBC champion, but the franchise WBC champion and the WBO champion, the 135 pound former champion Tiafimo Lopez, now 16 and 1 with 12 KOs. Basically, addressing his haters this week, y'all. He telling y'all haters, you know, y'all want to be like me. <laughs> oh, Tio, boy, he done came out for real then. You know, basically talking about a bunch of endorsement deals he got uh, since the loss of his, you know, of his titles to George Cambosis last November at Madison Square Garden in New York in his hometown. Boy, boy, boy. In his next fight, you know, uh, the 24-year-old say he going to be moving up to 140 pounds and he going to be testing himself there and said and that he won't even have the size advantage, but he enjoyed being the smaller against other opposition in the 135 pound, he said. But uh, he plans to face the undefeated Arnold Barboza, 26 and 0 with 10 KOs in the first half of 2022, he's saying. But we know how Teofimo Lopez is a little bit on what, you know, he says he going to do and is entirely different from what he says he going to do, <laughs> you know, because he said he was going to beat George Cambosis and go home and unify the belts with Devin Haney, but he didn't even handle the business with George Cambosis and then got all these excuses to why he was injured, this, that, and the third, but I ain't heard nothing about no rehabbing or nothing like that. All I'm hearing about is, you know, uh, I got me a beat deal. I got a, a Bud Light deal. And, and his next is going to be Nike. You know, man, come on, man. You know, I get it. I understand it. But listen, T.O., focus on boxing, man. Win a rematch. Fight George Cambosis. You should have had a rematch clause in place, but you didn't. But anyway, you know, it's all good and dandy. We're going to see what you're going to do with Arnold Bar Barboza. And we'll go from there. You know what I mean? But look, man, it, it's it's understandable that you're bitter, that you're angry. You know, all that shows that you wanted to win. So that's a good thing. Start from there. But look at that tape. Figure out what you did wrong. Figure out how to work out your, your situations that... You got into, first of all, head movement was the main thing. Uh, George Cambosis looked a lot more faster against you, and you wasn't able to uh, move your head from left to right to dip against the uh, speed of those jabs that George Cambosis hit you with. And that's what really led to the cut, you know, getting hit in the same spot over and over and over with that glove. So that's something you definitely need to work on. Definitely need to work on your angles 
you know, uh, I think if you if you don't have a lot of foot speed, then if you use more angles, pivot your feet, things of that nature, you can dip and dodge from a lot of shots and be able to throw counter shots while you're pivoting. But that's only if you're active. You can't pivot and hope that he ain't gonna hit you because George Cambosis was throwing punches and bunches. That kept you off your A game. And it looked like, to me, George Cambosis' cardio was better than yours. For to be the champion, you gotta be the champion, beat the champion. Your cardio gotta be like two champions if you wanna keep and retain your belt. So, hey, just keep doing what you're doing, man. Till you got the goods, man. But you need to get in that ring and work it out. You need to do more than what you was doing. Fight better, learn from your mistakes, and then get back to what you're doing. So with that being said, you know, that's all I got for you on this video. So, you know, definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV and I'm on social media everywhere. So definitely check out the website and definitely go to the website to primetimetalktv.com. All right, y'all.